I'm going to shotgun finally. Woo! Ooh. All right. Oh, I don't know if I can. Oh, yeah, it might just. I might be the only one that can mod people. One lander. Uh, so my. Click on his name. Uh, the lightning bolt. The lightning bolt. Yeah. Not the lock. It's right. <laughs> you just close that because it'll. Yeah. Not lock. You... Uh, I literally top aided the classic last weekend with this deck. That's why we're playing it tonight. Well, let's be honest. I probably would be playing this tonight even if I hadn't. But uh, I did. I did <laughs> top for the tournament. I mean, the worst. So on my side of the table, um, my man is a little awkward. But we've got a lot of green sources. We've got those trusty mana morphos, and more importantly, we've got step links on one. So we're gonna keep it, <laughs> keep it, keep it going on. The shadow aggro. We have to exile deck, so we'll All right, well, we're getting to if, Inquisition. If you are interested in uh, hearing more about this deck, again, MTG Card Market, I write there every week. They're linked below the stream in my sponsor's <laughs> link, and uh, it's another one there. I'm you, can check, you can check that out. <laughs> All right. Dark was up Friday. I'm keeping this one. It's a one liner. I have a Noble, though. Um, if this was an unknown matchup, I would probably mulligan it, but I'm going to keep this one. Sure. 17. Yep. Go ahead. Yep. Ooh, never didn't have that green source. Nope. Mm -hmm. No, sir. Flagstone step on the Yep. Lightning bolt you lose. <laughs> I, I do think that the Jun matchup is probably one of the harder matchups for this deck. I did beat it in the Swiss of that tournament, though, but uh, I don't know how the Abs match matchup is. Again, one of their removal spells is Path, which is pretty delicious against Perfect. Perfect. Yeah. Got it. <clears throat> Elf. All right. All right. Well, we got a land. That's good, at least. We have a game. Alright, Inquisition. Okay. Oh, actually, that's a good chance to plug something. If you're interested in seeing my article before Friday, people that subscribe to the Twitch stream here, <coughs> one of the little bonuses I give them is that they get pre early previews of all the articles I write for Magic and Hex. So, if you want to see that article before Friday, a little subscribe button, it's one of the extra perks you get with that. Hmm. I think it was pretty good, especially if we drew that and kept it at 7. So. Yeah. So, the question is whether we take the path or the links. Take the stopping uh, ground. Take the stopping ground, right? <laughs> he doesn't have a fetch. Right. Currently, so he can't make his lynxes very big. I could take the explorer. Yep, I don't hate that. Uh, it kind of cuts off both my plans. Yeah, it kind of kind of hurts both of his plans. I, I think I'm gonna try that. Be wrong too. Right. Um, and then I gotta go to 15. Yep. Hungry fella. Just a two ah, two three. <laughs> That's fine. Sorry, Chris, Chris, uh, I, have a, I have a good tie in my bag. Okay. What do you? It's uh, just just hammer on the bag. Uh, sure. So his goes to two three. So if I want to get through it, I have to path. That doesn't seem particularly good. I think I'm just playing this Valakut and playing the step lengths because <coughs> pathing. Path yeah, wait. There you go. Pathing to push through two damage isn't isn't particularly good. Pathing to push through four next turn possibly it seems fine. Really Actually, uh, instead of playing the Valakut, yeah, I'm gonna play the. Soaring Seagull can just to you okay. as well. 13. 13. Good. Push that damage while we can. Just might have lingering soul at some point here. Cool. And I keep one lander and draw land all day. God bless. So good. You just keep being John Avon for the next four or five steps, we'll be fine. <laughs> well, I kind of want to path on my turn now. Uh oh, he's at. Uh, 13. Yep. 13. 13. Yeah, 13 I just want to make sure. Yeah. He saw 20. 13, right? 20. Yeah. Okay, path on my turn now. Pumps your charm, boys. It does. Here we get our basic force. And I'm going to attack you for four. Uh, my creature's exiled, sir. Yeah, but I get he plus one off. Oh, instant. Exalted. I get a lot of people with that when I play Adzan with nobles. They go to 16, 16, 13. I am still winning. Where we're at. My turn? <sighs> Thank you. Taking resolves. That's hard, man. I think it's better just to get on board. Think so? Yeah. Go ahead. <clears throat> like if I block and he kills it, it might go across. Yeah, yeah. He has a path in hand though, right? Yep. Deck two. Is it two, three? Yep. Alright, no blocks. Damage. You got 11. 11. Good. 10. Yep. 10 to 16. <clears throat> you should. I know, Thanks. I'm shortcutting, sorry. Mm, I need green to get source, a, another right? green source, yep. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, 
you'll note that there's a Dryad Arbor in the sideboard of this deck. That's for the Liliana matchups, so you can crack your green fetches and get that, or search short with Knight of the Reliquary, etc. Not only is it good for eating the Edict after the Edict, but you can also just like fetch it and attack and kill the Liliana too. I think I'm obligated to kill the Tarmogoyf at this point. I think it takes enough off of the clock that I should I should do that. So yes, I'm going to go ahead and pass your party. All right, uh, take two. Yep, go to 14. 14 to 10? Yep. Yes. Yep. Oh, the one thing I hate about this deck is all the one of lands. What you doing, Magic Omni? Tilt your head back a little. Sorry. Yeah, that's cool. What you draw for Tarot? Um, I drew this. Okay. Which we are going to play. Yep. Go. Yep. <clears throat> Our hand is not gotten a lot better here. I'm going to go ahead and play the second Velocut and attack for two. I think I'm going to block actually um it's I mean, like a damage and i have all the mana i need and yep. i like gain a life so yep. we'll block sure good all right eat it yep 11 11 good 11 to 14 yep and yeah as long as brad doesn't really have any pressure here i could just like rip escape shift at some point here and kill him <laughs> what a game oh wait, 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 play wait, 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 wait. yeah, yeah. Uh, another noble yep attack for five yep i go to nine, nine. nine. yep so prismatic home will be not nuts draw here <laughs> Continue missing. <coughs> Play a land. Chump at this point. God, yeah, I, I think I'm supposed to. I mean, to you're, you're not winning through damage. Yet. Correct. Yeah, With I'm, the I, I'm gonna pass. Yeah, because I, I want to chump now because otherwise Brad's gonna have more chances to draw a move. I'm not gonna get the you chump can, later. If you oh. want to. Didn't I already? Eat yeah, it? you already hit that. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, yeah, we just didn't oh, pick it up. Sorry. Yeah. yeah, that's my fault. All right, what can I draw? <laughs> 11 and 9 is where we're at. <laughs> this mana base is great. We've got all the fixing. Two cards? Three cards. He hasn't done anything, yeah, so I, I, there's no way I'm firing off Posse. Yeah. Sorry, attack. Fuck. Yep. Um, go. Come on! Yeah, I think Escape shift! Redraw! Okay, Knight of the Reliquary. Sure. Land, Knight, go. How big is Knight? 2-2. Two, two. Remember the no fetch lands? You can, eat you, can, you can eat them down too, that's great. Alright, um. Now we're going to go. Hold on. I kind of want to hit a removal spell now. We hit 9, so. I don't know. This that's, is 6, that's 2 to so 3. Hard. It's so hard. I think mean, I just keep staying the course. I'm 100% yeah. blocking with this Knight of the Reliquary if we get the option. That's too. pretty good. Yeah. That kind of sucks, though. Cause... No, it's fine. Yeah, but I don't have a third black. Third black? Yeah, yeah, whatever. Target you. Yep. Eat my guy. What yeah. is that for? <coughs> million? So I take... Three, four, five, six, five, seven. Five, six, seven. Yep. Put a two. Two, and I'm at 13. Yep. I'm still dead off the top, though. Go ahead. God, if you oh. had a second black source, you would have dead off the top. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Cannot find it. Yep. Brad had, Brad had this Abzan charm in his hand like the entire game. Yeah. Like I was waiting for you to have like a fetch lane to like pump your guy yeah. and him to like get you, yeah, but yeah. it never happened. <coughs> I think it was fine to keep doing what you're doing. Now. How good is this aggro escape shift deck? Uh, it's it's better than it looks on paper to set the bar really, really low. <laughs> so okay, I I think it has some game. I I definitely agree. But I I think the game is a lot to do with your opponent not knowing what the hell it's doing. Yep. Uh, it definitely has a, a sweet combo aspect to it. That there, if you go back and watch the footage uh, later on, there's a there's a turn you just. I'm, like, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna highlight that clip. I yeah, you should. Yeah, it was. It's really what the deck. I'm, is I might embed it embed it in the article actually. Yeah, it's that's probably a good idea. It was a very good turn, and it, it really showed like everything the deck is doing. Uh, I was a believer. That, I, is it a tier one deck? Is it a, a deck I'd play at every tournament? I no. But people get obsessed with tears. If, if, yeah, people are especially yeah. especially in modern. And modern and like the biggest thing is like it's driven into people that like the tier one decks in standard are so much better than the tier two decks on average. And in modern that's just not the case. That's like true. the the tier two decks, the power level between them, they're all they're all very similar. 
God, the soaring sequence was just like glued to my opening hand. <laughs> There's only one in there. There's only one. Yeah. It's the best card though. It's, it's all right. So favorite. this hand is like you said, limited bomb. This hand is great um, until we get that beast. Uh, then it's medium. Yeah. But uh, story of every magic hand, right? Uh, so. I'm on the play, we've got some lands, we're going to play the Soaring Sea Glyph on one for no value, it's just like colorless <laughs> tapped land, uh, got threat, prismatic Plane. open, so... Why, deck? Always with the one lands. I did add a land, uh, I'm playing the world's list, and then Seeger said to add a land. I have a Twilight Mire and a Noble, but I have no other land, so... Have you seen, have you seen this Kickstarter Vampire Prince from... No. It looks really sweet, dude. That's my stuff. Isn't that sweet looking? The Kickstarter one. That's pretty good. Oh, yeah, there was like a collector tier that they God, I, wish could, alternate I wish I could go back in time and kickstart the game. There's some people that That's sell that sweet. have unused codes. Don't tell me that. I, I can hook you up, man. Jamie. I know I know a bunch of people. Jamie's a doctor. Ooh. This one's close. I'm going to keep on a scry. I have a bobble. <laughs> uh, God, I love that. Uh, <laughs> scry, a bottom. Great. Uh, tapped. Waste go. Basic <laughs> land. waste. Darn. Alright. I'm not gonna fetch because I want to draw a land. And even though it's marginal. So you should you, you should bubble yeah, you, yourself. You bubble yourself yeah. and then you can choose the fetch. Yeah. Oh. It's great. Right. It's great. Yeah, you bubble yourself good. and bobble then you can myself. if it's a land you you don't fetch and if it what is. What was it? Forest. It's a land. Okay. It's so a now land. you draw your okay. map keep, you yeah. draw that. Yep. Yep. So that's a trick for that's people. Actually let's, let's talk yeah, about what's going on here. So Brad has a fetch and a mistress bubble. So he mistress bubble, he can target himself and look at the top card of his deck. And that way he knows if it's a land, he'll draw it. If it's not a land, he'll fetch before the draw trigger happens yeah. from the mission. Yeah, and as you can right. see, yeah, as you can see, I proxy this, so I own exactly zero copies That's of this. Okay. Uh, <laughs> you don't want to. My hand would have been much better on the draw since we just drew the step links now. Um, <laughs> I, that being said, I think I'm supposed to prioritize getting this <laughs> Prismatic Omen into play. So go ahead and fetch right, to Stomping Ground and play this Prismatic Omen out. So Straight go ahead. 17 to 19 is where we're at. Come on, a breath decay. Holy shit, Liliana. How many games? No, or sorry, language. Sorry. <laughs> Let's see. Man, I can't wait for Chipotle to have delivery. Uh, so we'll get a Godless Shrine so that we, since the card we drew off the bottle was a forest, now we have all our colors. Still need double black for Liliana. Forest Green can you put up the uh, searing, what is it, searing sea cliff is the name of it? Soaring sea cliff, right? Yeah. Can you put that up for them. Thank you. All right. So we're going to play a land, and then um, I think I want to manamorphose here first just to, like, get the most vibration since we have. Well, I guess if Brad <laughs> kills this, I might need the manamorphose for fixing. So, yeah, actually, I'm going to wait. I'm just going to play the knight and pass the turn. Yep. Come on. 17. 17 for everybody. Do you have a little no, I don't Don't worry about it. Oh, shit. Oh, Lily, uh, left to sting. Uh, stick to. So close. 18. So he's going I'm to. Done. 15. He's down to 15, 15 now. Oh, sorry. Uh, three, right? Yeah. yeah. Three. Oh, three. 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 All those are pretty good. <laughs> All right. Um, you have how many cards? A bunch. Four. That's why I can't play this deck. All right. I don't want these. Oh, man. Maybe I do. Do you want delirium? Well, I have That's delirium off one of these. Off one of those, right? Yeah. So one of these is going to the bin for sure. Uh, so what am I going to be afraid of next turn? Escape shift doesn't kill me. What's your, you have next turn? It doesn't kill me. It'll kill me in two turns. Well, I'm not going to tell you what you well, think about it. There is a prismatic. <laughs> there is a prismatic omen on the table. I will advise you of that. He can kill. I think it, I'm pretty sure it takes six lands, but I can't remember the math. <laughs> it does. It takes six lands six for Valakut's yeah. turn. So he can't kill me next turn. Well. But. Well. Which means I want to draw this Thought Seize. Yeah. And I want to draw it next turn. I want to draw it now. I think that card's definitely in the bin. The, the noble? Noble's definitely yeah, in the bin. For sure, because I'm playing another creature. Right. Miter? Yeah, good. So we're going to draw. That's awkward. We need a land. Um. I'm going to go ahead and cast uh, Manamorphose for two, two color, green, red. <coughs> Please tell me you drew a white card. I mean, uh, I have this. Cast, uh, cast Explore. Yeah, sure. Stormcomp Channel? Yep. God, that's awkward. All right, play, play to GOP. Mm -hmm. Good. Yeah. 
26 lands later. Two redraws. <laughs> All right, we're going to start by crashing. There's a fours now, right? Yeah, they have four fours each. No blocks. Seven? Seven. No, this is triggers. Triggers, yeah. They do individual triggers, yeah, right? Individually, yeah. yeah that's why. You, like you look at three. <laughs> I, don't, I just don't think you want any of those, do you? There's an argument for this one, I think, right? I, I want to want it. I guess what am I doing this turn? Yeah, I'm just blocking, so. I think like the number one card you're looking for is like a breath decay. Yeah. Bottom. There. Oh, and you are now at seven. Seven, yes. And I'm going to fifteen. All right. Let me take one of my three scape ships or my siblings. <laughs> <laughs> or you're looking for pick the brain also. Awesome. Yeah, I think we just take the, the links since yep. we can't. You know, just the can't beat any of those. Land. Yeah, but. Ah, damn it. Well, you're close. Uh, you were dead if I had a land. Yeah, I know. He was like, he can't kill me next year. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, so, um, for the sake of showing the audience how the deck works, um, so I've, I've lost this game because this was the next card down, but assuming this was any oh, land, flags assuming right. any the land, flags assuming yeah, any yeah. land, let, let's leave the board state up show people how this works. So, good. assuming any land was on top of my deck, I would uh, cast cast this game <coughs> shift, and I would sacrifice these five lands, the one on top of my deck, and uh, flagstones triggers, but these scape shift trigger scape shift resolves before the flagstone trigger resolves. So I would get uh, four valakuts here. And the old one mountain. No, I have oh, you, or any any card. So we get four valakuts here, and then we get uh, another land, and then the uh, flagstones trigger happened, and I get the sacred foundry, hey, which is my sixth land, which because of prismatic omen out would trigger all of the valakuts. And how big is this? God, that's uh, it's five, six. five, five, six. Yeah. Okay, so two triggers would hit this uh, Tarmogoyf and deal six to it and kill it, and then two triggers would hit Brad and put him to nine, mm -hmm. and then this plated GOP saw one, two, three, four, five, six, seven lands enter play, yeah. and it would kill fifteen. Yeah. Yeah. So yep. if we had if we hit the fifth land there, we would Hilarious. we would kill him. Yeah, I forgot about Flexon. And that would have happened the the and the turn the turn previous uh, if we would have hit the land instead of playing the play GOP we would have made that play and killed and your two board, killed right. your two guys yeah. and then we had a second scape shift to kill the scape shift again next turn for just like the non valicut lands to kill you. Yeah, two yeah. Yeah. That's why I think you were just like digging for into your deck for a yeah. decay no matter yeah. what. Yeah. No, that makes sense. <laughs> so we had what was it four draws there to hit a land to kill you? So, yeah. Bobble famous last words. <laughs> <laughs> Bobble's great. I watched that play a bunch of worlds where they were like Bobble on their first turn and like yeah. shuffle. You only run two, right? right? Yep. Yeah, just yeah, yeah. yeah. Good. Just They're basically free with the Dharma Wave and Grim Player. No, I agree. I mean, they definitely pump your team, but to me, it's like, is the removal split this better? Sure. With Omen know. wouldn't have hit four times six triggers. No, it would not have because the flagstone trigger has to resolve after the entire scape shift finishes resolving. Yeah. So the scape shift puts five <coughs> lands into play, and then the flagstone trigger resolves, putting yeah. the sixth six land, land into play. Yeah. So the only land that triggers the Valakuts is the sixth land that right. enters. You have to have six lands enter simultaneously for all of them to trigger the Valakuts. If only. <laughs> you were on the play last game, someone? Yes, you were on the play. All right, my hand is very good on the play. Uh, we have turn one thought he's in the Grim Player. We also have the Abrupt Decay. Show us up. Uh, 16. 16. I'm not going to talk about my hands. We're going to see it. So I've got uh, <laughs> Man of Foes, two Knights, Escape Shift, and some lands here. I mean, it's, it's like a solid medium. It doesn't have a doesn't have a uh, early creature, but it uh, could definitely have one with those Man of I think we just take as early as play. Uh, this hand's pretty slow. We can't really deal with the Knights. The second Knight is kind of rough. We can deal with the first night. Oh, sure. So we can't deal with Stegonite? That's what I'm... I don't... This is, this is a random card, I, so like... This would be a higher percentage of a turn two play, but like, it's not guaranteed. That's definitely... I, I'm going to take the Knight. The, the Abrupt Decay in my hand is a higher... Yeah. Like, I want it for the... Prismatic Omen. The Prismatic Omen more than anything. I agree. Yeah. Definitely I'm good. Nice. Filter into that. Yep. Only this. There. And, uh. 
So because we're playing against, so I'm always torn in this match. I, I'm not quite sure. I'm not torn. I actually just don't know how how much I'm supposed to balance prioritizing keeping basics in my deck against his Path to Exile deck versus preserving my life total against his a deck that's got Grim Flayers in it. Um, that's an interesting question. I, I think I'm supposed to shock on this first one. So I'm going to shock and we hit Explorer. So we'll, yep. we'll draw from that. And then uh, we'll play an additional land for the turn and best. And again, remember, because we're fetching tapped with this one swept teeth, is strictly worse than Wood of Fiddles in this deck. So we don't have a basic planes, but we have a basic mountain. Yep. Six two. And we want lands. I put those two in the graveyard. Yeah. These two in the graveyard? Yeah. I like making Delirium go a bit faster. I mean, this the rest one of these, great, is going, but yeah, the yeah. point is, do I need the fetch? Right, you don't. I don't think I do. Right, like don't. the do you, fetch goes in. Do you have? Right. Do I have? I mean, I have a Twilight Mine. Right. Uh, well, I'm it's, oh wait, oh that's a God's Shrine. Okay, yeah. that makes more sense. I thought it was something uh, else. I'm gonna go to 15 for my fetch land. Okay. Go ahead. Don't go. You don't have a second, third land. Okay. You have a four already. I don't have a third land. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. Creature, sorcery, planeswalker, land. Yeah. Jeez. I'm going to start by casting this Manamorphose. We have all of our colors, so when we have our colors, I like to kind of use these aggressively to give me the most information about the cards that have available to me. We'll get uh, green red with that. <coughs> yeah. Um, okay. Well, that's not a, not a bad pickup. Um, uh, go ahead and play Knight of the Reliquary out. Yep. And play this Fetch Land. And pass the turn. Yeah, you only got one card now, right? I think I want to just trade this Knight for his... Or his uh, Grim Flare, if possible. Turns it on. Yep. Uh, eight. Uh, fetch Shock, Path, you're good. Twelve. So Fetcher. I'm going to twelve from the Fetch Shock, and then Tarmogoyf is dealing me it's five, five, now, five right? currently. Yeah. Five. Okay, yep. Did, so I go to wanna, seven. I mean, you probably won't. The value of the Grim Flare is probably higher value than the one life. Yeah, I agree. Okay. I agree. I'm taking, yep. I'm taking just, the Grim Flare. Sure. Correct. Just yeah. down to seven. No, seven. It's the same, same turn <clears> clock either way. Yeah. So I'm getting a land from my fetch that I'm passing with, and I'm getting a basic forest from the night path. From the from the path. So seven, right? Yep. Seven. Yes, and you are at sixteen. Yep. You'll know only scapeshifts, I believe. Okay. Play Rhino, does it? No, it doesn't. Sweet. <laughs> Go to two. <laughs> I have Abzan Charm. Uh, I guess I don't need it currently. What do you got? He's 16. at 16. Perfect. That's, he's a dead. That's the best number. Excellent. I'm playing Escape Shift. Scale of one to dead, where are we at here? Lingering Soul. Yep. Go. Kill you. <laughs> yep. So, draw. Yeah. Play a land. We cast our escape shift, and there's nine mountains in this deck, so we got uh, two. We got six, two of, six of them yeah. left. Well, well, we only, we only keep one Valka because we have to right. sacrifice. Right, right, right. Yeah, so we get six mountains out of our deck and deal. Get the damage done. Yep. Yeah. So Rhino uh, gets me. You have winners. Go ahead and post them up in chat there, you know, we'll read them out. Next one more games tonight than I thought I was gonna win, which is which is how all Sunday went I basically. Mean, yeah. <laughs> uh, so people keep asking me, "Is this deck real? Is it good?" And, and people that like followed my Twitter on Sunday saw me very confused. Like, it's uh, yeah. So we have our first winner. I'm not gonna try and butcher names here. Value at a Garapinar. Uh, okay, I'm gonna butcher names. Actually, that's what I no. The, the value. $150 value. Oh, value. Ad Ada is the name? Yeah, okay, there you go. Look at that. See? See, if I put that in, I was like, man, someone really likes value to their kid that. <laughs> I 
I mean, Brad's hand was very good. I thought Pitch and Lily was fine. He had, he had thought seize, he had thought seize on one. He had uh, Grim Flare on two. He had a removal if spell for my. Go back in time. Keep the Lily. If you go back in time. Why? No. No, no, it doesn't so do anything. Yeah, I don't think so either. Like he has people a, he, saying, he had like, a land in his hand. Yeah, people were saying you should have kept the Lily on top. I think that's wrong. It like increases your clock. Like you were one turn away from killing him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like I think. Yeah, I, I don't think I wanted the Lily there. You would have only had me. I would have only discarded one card from it. Right. Right. right I had yeah. an extra he, card. You had an extra card. Yeah, yeah. So it actually just yeah. didn't change anything. He, he had three cards in his hand at the end of the game, so he would have had two. Yeah, sure. Chaos yeah. Draft Pack, Zach Levi. Le Levine, Levi. Levine, I think. Levine. I'm just bad at names. Uh, if you are in chat, you have won that. And they'll, they'll, Ian's yeah. going to take care of sending all that out. And the big prize, the custom skateboards that are painted. Is Michelle Rapp is the winner of that one. Thank you, everyone, <laughs> for contributing and donating to that awesome charity auction. Ian, thank you for running. I hope your tournament goes well this weekend. Uh, I am on the play for this game. And... Um, we're going to keep here. We don't have a ton of lands, but this deck's got a lot of lands in it. We've got cantrips for our explorer. We've got uh, a threat. Basically, any any hand that has a castable threat and some lands, you're basically keeping with this deck. So we're definitely keeping. Uh, I'm rolling in my seven. It was double noble, double thought seize, and some lands. Just not enough power. Uh, Jeff's deck can definitely win fast, as we've seen tonight. So I need to make sure that I'm handling Killing that yeah. appropriately. Thanks, Ian. You too, man. All right, we're keeping. We don't have a green source. This basic plans is kind of awkward, but uh, <laughs> your deck sucks. It does. <laughs> I hate magic. God, why? <laughs> Basics. Oh man, that was pretty. It's on the ground. Go ahead. All right. <laughs> Things we should never print it for one hundred. All right, uh, the Shambling Man's coming into play on turn three tapped. Uh, since we have one into two and then two another two, uh, this line's fine. 17. Oh, really? The good old Lava Hacks. My favorite. Go to 15. Uh, path, Path, Geopede, Omen, Explore. Hand's pretty good. Yeah. Love Lava Hacks. Are you at 15? <laughs> you, you did. I can't. And this is what's sweet about this deck is Brad's lava axe himself here because he has to, and we have an aggro plan as like a plan D. <laughs> and because I've lava axe myself, I'm pretty sure I have to take the GOP, especially because he has double path. Like I can play two threats to block, but yep. he's just gonna path them and constantly just, be doing damage. Yep. Yep. How, how bad does it feel? Pretty bad right now. <laughs> we'll draw. Uh, I think I'm gonna play Explorer as opposed to prioritizing any of the Prismatic Omen into play because Brad could just abrupt decay that anyways, and I'd much rather accelerate. So let's do that. And we'll play our second land for the turn and pass. All right. <laughs> Darmagoose? Knowing his hand. Yeah, we didn't pass, right? So go. I'll draw. That was an okay draw. Um, so now I'm not quite sure what I want to do this turn. Um, because we have both of these in our hand, I almost want to save this till next turn since we drew the step links. Um, airplane playing prismatic omen out, and then we're playing the step links <coughs> out. I think I want to hold the flagstones. This is going to hit us for one, two, three. I guess the odds of Brad not having a removal spell are pretty low, right? Right. On this. That's fine. I mean, there's removal in here, that's for sure. So I guess, yeah, yeah. So what I'm gonna do here is, no, yeah, that that works. I'm gonna play this. I'm gonna play. I'm gonna play this and sack the old one. Oh sure. Yep. And I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna pass the turn. I think, I think that's fine to just. Now I could pop this to get a card, but I'm kind of, I kind of want to wait till I have a fetch land, so we get some value out of it. I nope. play for him. You can also pass you and mess up here. Bubble plan too. Yeah, that's true. Uh, I feel like I'm not tidying him. I know he has pain. Two of them. Yeah, I'm just gonna get him out of here. We're, we did not play the flag, so I'm just gonna not pass him. That's true. <clears throat> 
So like I say, thank you to everyone that's hanging out here tonight. We've had a little over 400 people for a lot of the evening. If you're enjoying the content, I encourage you to show that support page and follow our sub buttons below the stream. If you're new, we do this uh, every week. Um, the schedule is going to be a little bit up in the air for the next couple of weeks. I've got some uh, end of summer vacations going on. But if you follow me on Twitter or you get notifications when the channel goes live, you'll know whenever we're playing Magic. How many cards? Just two. Should have sent a message to that thing. Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> I'm gonna take a. Yep. And this time I am gonna pop this and look at my dark card. Okay. I don't get to scare. Sure. Cast Manamorphos. Sure. For some colors, I don't know. Play that. Uh, pass the turn. Does he run Maelstrom Pulse? Yeah, he's got a Liliana out, so even right. if he does, like, we're not, we're not playing around anything. Yeah, I think so. I'll path my step links. Sure. Uh, okay. Still 15. Yeah, 15 and 20. Clive. Okay, I guess I don't need to do that. I'll do this and flash my calls. Yep. You are delirious, yeah. <clears throat> and then I'll, well, I guess not. Turn cut. Uh, this is the fourth game. Ah, uh, wait, so <laughs> we really need a thing on the UI to keep track. Go. Hmm, all right, so we got a fade for one turn. Yep, escape shift is lethal. We have six lands and prismatic on. Oh, I swear you had a... Can't play both of these. Oh. Yep, we take six. Sure. Well, uh, Prismatic Omen makes all of my lands make make every uh, color. Dead anyway. For what, people, what is for, he going for to? people wondering, Jeff, 14, 14, 14 currently. Fourteen. He's taking six. This is the six. This is the six. I've taken nothing. He's at oh, twenty. Sure, sure, he's sure, at twenty sure. going to fourteen. Yep. Yeah. All right. Well, that does damage, so sure. we'll leave it on top. Go ahead, my dad. Yeah, he just can see you there. So close. So, so close. And again, that's why there's a bunch of explorers and metamorphos and trying to get to your deck. I would not be surprised to. I know you, you shuffle a lot, and, and but we've played, what, like 15 games? I wouldn't be surprised if there's some clumps in there at this point. Clumps are random, Brad. I know. The clumps are supposed to exist in a perfectly there. randomized deck, so the clumps are supposed to they're be there. They're still there. And I'm sitting here riffling this one. I ain't got... Yeah. This deck's rented from Spare Deck. Ain't nobody got feelings for it. But neither of us are shuffling as much as you do at any events. Right. I'm shuffling a good beat here. Sure. Especially like we're shuffling extras and I'm still shortcutting while we're sitting here, so That's I think true. I'm shuffling That's a good true. amount. I was confused to why you guys aren't pile shuffling. <laughs> <laughs> That's random true randomization, yeah. right? True I read that in an article. Yeah, I read that in an article. <laughs> yep. So when I first started playing Magic, I was I was watching Pro Tour and I saw Owen turn wall and he went uh, riffle shuffle, riffle shuffle, pile shuffle, riffle shuffle, riffle shuffle, cut, pile shuffle. Good. And he did it like three times. I was like, oh, this is how you're supposed to shuffle. So yeah, like, for the I longest that, time I was doing it. And uh, then, what's it what's his name? The, the kid, Oliver Chu. Q, yeah. He piled between mulligans yeah. at the, the the world. And I was just like, this, they, just like everyone sees that and they're like, well, this is okay. This is it's okay doing. for me to pile while I'm in between mulligans. And it's just like, no, you should just riffle it, pack it, and then. Yeah. But if you watch Owen nowadays, he like riffles the other opponent's decks. He's yeah. like riffling his own deck. I love it. He like gave up on that. Um, Tell you more about MTG Card Market. Card Market is a content site, and they also buy and sell Magic Gaming cards. You can find a link to all of my sponsors below the stream about Spare Deck and Card Market. There's discount codes for both, so if you plan to use either site, you can um, get some discount codes. <coughs> I took care of it. You're I said they have the best two authors in the world there. <laughs> <laughs> I want to play. Uh, yeah, I'm going to... My Jesus. hands... Um, my Something. hand's got a threat and an explorer, and it's got a tap basic waste on one, so you know, why, why not? <laughs> <laughs> I've been keeping these all night, so I don't know why I would stop. They're one lander with some nobles. Uh, 17 noble. 
He probably stabs one or a deck. Magic cards are meant to be shuffled. If you don't want your cards to be shuffled, you should not play them in a Magic tournament. Especially if you're going to a Pro Tour. I, oh, they refuse. Like, yeah. yeah oh, do yeah. not bring foils to a Pro Tour. Go to 18. Yeah. Cast Explorer. Yeah. Death land. Good. Explorer is gross. For people who asked about Kaladesh, I posted in the chat, but as soon as the set's fully out and we have time to brew decks, we will be playing Kaladesh cards. This will be the first place where you will find free content Absolutely. with magic video content with Kaladesh cards Correct. on the internet. Yeah. Yeah. Hands down. Uh, you get a Knight of the Reliquary or a Knight of the Reliquary? <clears throat> All right. Deal. Yeah. Oh, wait, did you want that Knight? If I was Brad Nelson, I would. Go ahead. <laughs> Apparently, Brad is very known for, like, if you have multiple copies and you pick one and the opponent, like, uh, puts... <laughs> <laughs> the opponent puts the other one, he'll, he'll make you take it back. You know what these three cards don't cast? Is that a 2-2? Two -two? Anything. <laughs> yeah, it's 2-2. Two -two. Anything. The bell. The lady. Right. Right. Up, Brad. Minus 2, minus 2. Mm -hmm. That's pretty sad. I should have played that. Can yeah. I play around that? Sure. sure. So, so again, should. this is one of the things we're doing. I should play around that because that is a card <laughs> those decks play. It's losing me a landfall trigger here, but if this lives, I'm getting so many landfall triggers, it doesn't matter. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, I'm just going to fetch shock there. Yep. So stupid. All right, what are you, 17? Is that where you're at? Yes. Yeah, so, yeah. uh, no, 15, so I, 15. Shocked, I shocked for the... Sure. Yeah. Okay. Are you going to kill the supplings? Uh, no. We're going to change it up. Okay. Shut the... Yep. Play the land. Play on this. Yeah. That's good. I thought you had to uh, <coughs> play the basic to play both the knight and the supplings in the same turn. No, it's two white. Yeah, it's double white. I just need double white. Uh, okay. Collective brutality. Will you put that on the screen? Also? Yeah, that card's card cool. is so good against infect burn. The other card uh, I really liked at the indie was a uh, blessed uh, alliance. alliance. Yeah, oh my card's god, great. so good against infect. Uh, play fetch land. It's a lot of good cards for. Uh, uh, I'm gonna tell it twenty. Yeah. Oh, you're at oh no, I'm at 17. Thank you for two. Uh, no box. 15. 15 for everybody. Hmm. Yep. Yeah. I'm supposed to go up again. I get to fetch land this time. I get to like eat and get no, out of range fast. Yeah, I get to eat it. Yep. Probably your guy. I keep for five. Five. Where do you at? Uh, he's 18. he's gonna go to yeah, sixteen rather. He's gonna go to six. You're going to sixteen because you're gaining one off this, right? It should be in the yeah, yard, right? You I just only... took two off this. Oh right, 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 right. Yeah, sixteen. Okay. And then so you take that for ten, eight. yes, correct. Yeah. Sixteen what? Ten. Ten currently. Oh, Cast keep shift. <laughs> I mean, that's what they do. No, no, no. Scoop shift. You could have, uh... <laughs> you could have a fountain set. Yeah, no, you're not. Oh, no, come on. You're supposed to... <laughs> you make him do it. You're supposed to pack the negation. I mean, you have two uh, freaking, <laughs> freaking nobles, man. Uh, like, <laughs> or you do, white, do the white path. The white, uh, the white one. Oh, yeah. Game. Thoughts on like, adding get produce of street rates to become more unfair. Um, right. So, at a, right. at, a, at a certain yeah, point, right. um, the, the problem with cards like get probes and street rates is all they do is they do make your deck smaller, but they come with a real cost, which is life total, and they make mulliganing much harder. Explore has actual Explore and Manamorthos both have actual functional text on the card in addition oh, yeah. to cantripping. Like Explore is just genuinely a good card in this deck. Explore is a, a really good in this deck, especially against the mid range decks where like he wants to hit his sixth land like super early. Yep. Ish can I will be in Jund. That's a really aggressive statement. I don't think it'll be in uh, Jund. I think it's fine power level for standard, but uh, I think Jund doesn't have room for PN Karindalar. They definitely don't have room no, for Ishkana. There's no way. I could see it in a uh, some type of Titan deck. I'm sure there's someone on Reddit that agrees with you. Or though. like Ponzi could play it maybe. No, stop it. Stop stretching. I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm trying to give the guy the benefit of the doubt. P man. Yeah, Four man is a lot. I know, I know. There's no way it's a job. And that card's just trying to bring other decks that, that might That card's play. a makeshift removal spell, at least. Yeah. yeah. I, I love Pia. So I had someone ask me if they were going to play just Pia in core, and I was like, well, we don't play Blade Splicer, so like, yeah. Yeah. Pia is probably just... It's like Thopter Engineer. It's like a worse Thopter Engineer. Thopter Engineer is my... <laughs> it's different than Thopter Engineer. 
Stop I just it. You're better, man. We could evolve Pia into Pia and Corindalar. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh, God, I'm dead. <laughs> I'm trying to get some land. It's like, God, I'm like, all right. You want to play? We're going to keep... Really are, you looking, are you looking at my hand or should I talk about it? Oh, I'm not, looking at his hand. I'm, I'm not looking there. at it. Not yet. Not yet, anyway. Um... So, Sears' article today talking about how bad oh, Shambling Vent is in this deck, and I'm just I'm so inclined to agree. But I'm going to keep. It's slow, but it's, uh, it's got action. On my side of the table, uh, my hand again is, uh, it's got lands, it's got a couple of threats in it, so it's definitely a keep. Terrace Hub? I just think if I can two-spell next turn, if I lead on Noble, and I can't, unless I drew a land. It's not what I think. So, um... I think I'm, I want to yes. lead on the I want to lead on the step links I'm here. So super excited about that. I'm gonna fetch a temple garden. The step links is the highest upside place. So we had an untapped land for our two mana thing after the step links. We'd be really super excited. So we have temple garden here. Mm, of course. <laughs> Welcome to the game. Yeah, I'm Yeah, modern's gonna be really interesting when the uh, fast lands. You can yeah. still cast two spells this turn. Winter period. I mean, yeah, you're right. Quick game. Blue red delver. I don't think I need to. Yeah, there. blue. I wonder if, in, if Infect will help with that also. I certainly hope not. No. <laughs> I don't think Infect's going to play the fast lens. I don't think so either. <laughs> they they really want to fuel the they, yeah, graveyard. Yeah, absolutely. Big. Yeah. Completely agree. All right. Absolutely. Well, we hit Travel. a land this turn, but it's not an yes. untapped land. Uh, play Valakut, not blocking, must attack, hit for two. You're yep, no box. Game. Good. Play. It's really unfortunate we, we well, didn't hit well, the untapped well, land, we'll so we probably would have killed bread. It should be 18 to 17. Yeah, yeah, next turn. That was a card. Yep, sure was. Well, that, that's yeah, a, a single turn three kill that. I'm so unlucky. Mm. Yeah, just the unluckiest. All right. No. Yep. Three. Uh, yep. Uh, fourteen. Fourteen. Trigger resolves. That's interesting. Pretty easy. Is it? Yeah. I was gonna say like they're all just bad. Yep. It's kind of awkward because you want to fetch before you sixteen. <laughs> Escape shift, escape shift, explore, manamorphose, knight. Huh. My colors are kind of awkward. Oh, okay. See, if we would have hit um, an untapped land here, we could have uh, Explore. explored and played this other Valakut out and yeah. then threatened the escape shift kill next turn. Yeah. Not that I think we'd go for it against a removal heavy deck like Red's playing, but. Could take explore, which like makes his escape ships worse, but I can't answer the knight right now. So I gotta take knight. If I can answer the knight, I would snap take the knight, and then I'm just gonna take one off this. Tempting. All right, so you're fetching okay. a tapline. Uh, He's up. Or you're fetching a basic two right? drop. Yeah. Oh, no. sorry, I missed the uh, the thoughtsies. Yeah. Oh, maybe I should. Yeah, fetch basic. <clears throat> so we're gonna go ahead and. Um, the fact that I drew uh, this for my turn means I can use this Metamorphose aggressively. So let's go ahead and uh, start with that and make um, green, white, and draw. I think it's only three for it. Sorcery land, land dude. Sorcery. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and go land drop. Oh, I haven't, haven't played for it. So cast the floor <coughs> using the green, white, yeah, draw yeah. again. Um, Explorer's gone. Land drop one, land drop two, how big is this? Three, four. Three, four, three, four. Attack for four. No. You're gonna go to 11. <sighs> <laughs> Scratch that out. Okay. Who's gonna eat a time of grief? I mean, me. I, have, <laughs> <laughs> I have more blockers. I'm swinging for just. Five next turn, five nine, go eleven. Do you get the Larry Myth Poip dies? No. Mm -hmm. That I'm not blocking. All right, you go eleven. Uh, Good. Oh, so resubbed. Thanks for the two month resub, Syphilix. Let's see some Kiki Evo Country. <laughs> right, we need a better name. Yeah, after this is gonna be the last game with uh, with the aggro shift deck. Go to night. Sure. God. <laughs> it's nice to filter. Souls. Yep. Go. 
Well, those unfortunately block my kill this turn. <coughs> which is pretty unfortunate. Um, do you have delirium now? No. No, still dead. Yeah, that's great. Um, <coughs> play the fetch land. <laughs> Am I supposed to play a fetch land? I'm at nine? Yeah. Correct. So, I think my line to win this game involves drawing a Prismatic Omen or a Farseek next turn to kill Brad. What are they So, I think I'm supposed to... Except you played and tapped Hollywreck in the same turn. I don't remember that turn. I don't remember that happening either. Oh, uh, I might have the turn you said to play a two-drop. That might have been the turn I played a Noble. Because you played... Tap land. I went tap land into two drop. Two drop. Yeah. Yeah, you went tap land into Grim, Grim Flare. Right, and then so the the turn after that I would have went Thought Seize into Noble and into Goyf. That's why I could that's why I didn't play a two drop. And then you're like, that's you a basic play a, play a two drop and I was like, Oh yeah, why am I not doing that? Sure. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. Uh that's kinda of too much to rewind yeah. at at this point. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I, I, yeah. <laughs> they're they're I, right. You're, they're, they're totally I, I definitely said that, though. Yeah, yeah. yeah I yeah, didn't. I, like, I didn't have it in my mind that I was playing a two-drop that turn. And then Jeff's like, fetch a basic play a two-drop. And I was like, yeah. And uh, so that's definitely on me. That's really weird. So, uh, I mean, can we rewind that? So, what, um, what, what's, what's so you're going to take... So, this like, basically, this, I wouldn't have been attacked last that's turn. That's one attack. That's one attack, so I'd be at 12. You're getting three. And then, do you want to play Souls instead of playing this? Right. Yeah, would that's be, how that would be, that would be the That would be the rewind. Yeah, right. so... Because yeah. you didn't block. You, you want to play Souls instead of playing that. Yeah. That's better, because it's not... Okay, so you're at okay. 12? I'm at, I'm at 12. Okay, 12. thank you. Good yeah. good catch. So, we can't All actually... Right. That's not that big of a deal to fix. Yeah, that's fine. That's exactly what it is, right? Yeah. I'm... Pretty sure. I, all I remember is I didn't block with the Goyf, right? Right. Yeah. So yeah. that wouldn't yeah. matter. And the, the only, only difference thing. is you'd have a shock land instead mm -hmm. of a right. basic. Yeah. Yep. Which is not really that relevant. Well, all right. So I'm going to go ahead and play Valakut. I think <coughs> I think my line here is still hope to hit an accelerant and kill Brad next turn that way. Although I can just attack now. Well, you're not blocking. I don't think. So I could I could play this fetch land and then threaten to block, but then he just attacks with that and gets the exalted trigger. So yeah, so I'm gonna play I'm gonna play this Valakut and attack for two. Good. Yeah, sure. You'd be eleven because this would have had exalted when it's attacked. Oh yeah, I'm at eleven. Sure. Eleven. Oh. Yep. Good call. Thank you. <laughs> Good job, chat. Later yeah, we fixed it. Way to go, chat. Super proud. Really? <laughs> <laughs> it's so good when it's all. It's miserable. It does. Uh, three? Yep. Oh, it's the same. It's the same, yeah. Three. Eight. Chirp. <clears throat> yeah, what? Oh, I get an instant finally. God bless. Yeah. Woo! I just don't think you care about any of these, right? Yeah, they all. I'm pretty sure none of these cards are anything. I don't want to give them a land, so. Right, you can't path him. Yeah, I don't <laughs> I don't want to give him a land. Uh, I'll play two waves. <laughs> yep, good. Okay, all right, so. Back. Before right. before I draw, I want to talk about the number of cards in my deck to kill Brad. It's uh, Manamorphosis redraws, obviously. It's our four paths to kill Brad, our three explorers kill Brad, and our two far seeks kill Brad. So we've got nine draws to, to win this game. How many cards? How many cards in our deck? Yeah, what are our odds? What are our odds? One, two, three, four. Oh, you're good. 12, 13, 14, so we're yeah, 40, nine, nine, 40, out of 40, nine, 9 out of 45. 45, yeah, 45 46. So 20, 20%? Is that right? There you go. That is. I'm at nine. <coughs> yeah. Eight. You're at eight. It it's right. a blocker, is what it is. Uh, that is what it is. Oh, should take the path. Go. <laughs> should have kept the path on top. This is stupid. This <laughs> is so stupid. Okay. Oh wait. Wait. Yeah, wait. Yeah. Wait. All right. Yeah. If I activate this, You're what does dead. that do? It puts you 13, and you still die to the two. Escape chips. He only takes sand. seven. He goes to one. <laughs> But then he can't fetch. I don't need to fetch it. He right, he's just need a, to yeah, fetch. <laughs> All right, swing team. Yeah, and then I'm just gonna block block both cliffs here, and just in case like there's siege runner or something going yeah. on in his deck, so five we take three. five. Oh, yeah, I guess it doesn't matter. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Yeah. It's a, it's a either way. Don't have the siege runner. I guess we'll just play this tireless tracker. You can the trigger. Put the trigger. Like, make a clue. Oh yeah, you're, you're oh, a great yeah. player, trigger Sorry. man. You get to figure it out. Yeah, look. Oh look, it wasn't a, it wasn't. Right wasn't at all relevant. And then seventh landscape should kill you. Yeah. What a game. 
think that was so the if we sustains. didn't block with the soul that turn, I think you're like kind of almost priced into it. I then don't we know. could attack with the shambling and it would have been lethal. Yeah. Okay. Close. Yes. Yeah. It was all close. Yep. So yeah. maybe I maybe once. Okay. So I'm trying to think about how the match plays out. Once my life total reaches a certain threshold, I should stop worrying about it. Unless, and, 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 unless and, and, and your, and your life total is basically always going to reach that. Well, I guess right, the aggro like plan, the aggro plan dynamic changes that a little bit. Yeah, too. yeah, a little bit. So what is it like? Six, 16, 16 was like the number. 16 was like the number I was happy when, then, uh, when I was.